With the latest version of Profex, which is version 4.2.4 at the time I'm recording this, we can export refinement results directly to Excel. Of course, we could export results to spreadsheets before, but with the new export feature, we can write results to specific cells in an Excel table. Let me show you an example. I have an empty results sheet in Excel here with cells for some sample information, for example, the file name and the sample ID here, and for the quantification results down here. And I also inserted an empty graph where I want to show the, the diffraction pattern down here. Once I have set up the export in Profex, all I have to do is go to Results, Export to Excel, select my project, and when I click OK, Excel will open. And all the refinement results and the, the sample information will be inserted into the empty cells automatically and also the diffraction pattern will be shown. I'm going to show you how to set up an Excel export in Profex like this. Uh, I will split it into two videos. In the first one I will show the basic configuration and in a second video I will show some advanced options. But before we begin I have to apologize to Mac and Linux users. This feature is only available on Windows because it is using some functions built into Windows to communicate with Excel. So this does not work on uh, Mac OS and Linux. And you will not even find the relevant menu entries. They are hidden on the platforms where this feature is not available. We start with an empty Excel spreadsheet like this one. And uh, in, let's say we want to display the sample ID in the first row. So this is the header and I want Profex to write the sample ID to cell B1. And we can also add the raw data file here. And then we have some refinement results, for example, the quantity of hydroxyapatite, calcium oxide and magnesium oxide. And we want to write the quantities to the cells B4, 5 and 6. Now we save this empty template with a new name. And then we have to set up the export in Profex to specify which results go to which cells in Excel. We open the configuration dialog in Project at the very bottom, Edit Excel Export, and we get an empty uh, configuration dialog. And first we want to specify to which template file we want to export the results. We could choose a new file, then it would always start with an empty spreadsheet. But since we prepared this template, we want to select it on the hard disk. And then we can set up the results we want to export to this template. So we, for every result, we have to add one line to the table. And we can choose between global parameters or local parameters for all the three phases that are refined in this project. So we have the calcium oxide, hydroxyapatite and magnesium oxide or global results. And the sample ID is a global result. So we select global and from the parameter, we select the sample ID. There's a predefined list of parameters we can choose from. So we select sample ID and we want to export it to uh, cell B1 um, of the first worksheet. We could have multiple worksheets. So we, want, we are in the first worksheet. We want to select row number one and the column is not entered as a letter, so we cannot enter B, but we have to count. It's the second column. So worksheet one, row one, column two, is this cell here. This is where the sample ID shall be written to. Next, we want to export the raw data file, and let's go, let's have a look at the sub file. So what we want to export here is the measured data file name, so the value of this, uh, of the val number one parameter. So 
So we select from the global parameters the parameter val, which contains the xy data file name, and we want to, it to be written to cell b2, so that's row 2, column 2. And then we add the quantities for hydroxyapatite and uh, so all the three phases. This is also a global result. Quantities are, are global goals. Hydroxyapatite, calcium oxide, and magnesium oxide. And we want them to all go to column B, but to rows number four, five, and six. Four, five. Six. So now we have set up our Excel export. We click OK. And to actually export the results, we go to Results, Export to Excel. We only have one project, so we select this one. And here we go. All the results are written to this new template. This configuration for the Excel export is part of this project now. We can go to Project, Edit, Excel, Export, and open the dialog again with the configuration. But it is not saved with the project. So if we close this refinement project now and reopen it again, or if we close Profex and reopen it again, this information will get lost. The dialog will be empty again. If we want to save the export configuration, we have to save it as a preset. So we go to Project and select Save as Refinement Preset. And now we can choose to only save the Excel export configuration to a new preset, or we could also save it together with the, with the uh, refinement configuration in the same preset, but now for this demonstration we only choose the Excel export. OK, and then I give a name. And it will tell us that the new preset was saved in our personal preset directory, which we can always access from the locations menu here. So this is the new preset we created. So if I close this project and open it again, I go to the Edit Excel export, and as I said, it's empty. All the information we set up before is lost. But what we'd have to do is we have to apply this new preset we created. We can apply to multiple projects at a time. And if we have a look at the export configuration, now it is restored again. And now we can immediately export the results to Excel and it does the same it did before. Now let's look at some more options in this uh, configuration dialog. I have a checkbox here in the column ESD, and if I check it, it will not output the value of this refinement result, but its estimated standard deviation. So if I check, for example, for the magnesium oxide, if I check this box, it will not write the value 0.0039 to this cell, but it's ESD 0.0003. So if I want to have ESDs in the next column, in column C, I would have to add three more lines. Select again the three phases. Write them to the same rows, rows 4, 5, and 6, but to column C, which is number 3. And this time I check ESD. So now I will have the values of the quantification in column 2 and the ESDs in column 3. And if I export the results, I get exactly what we configured. At the beginning of the video, I showed a much nicer template with uh, some uh, header logo and some more formatting, but it basically works the same. It writes the file name to this cell, the sample ID here, and the refinement results here. 
And I also have the empty graph here. Let's have a closer look at this configuration. So first of all, let's test if, if it works as expected. I export the results. And it seems to work as expected. So I get my sample ID, my file names, and the quantities and the diffraction pattern here. Now let's have a closer look at this configuration. I specified the template file name on my hard disk. I am writing the uh, raw data file name to this cell, the sample ID, the quantities for the three phases, the ESDs for the three phases. And then I also export my scan number one to worksheet one, row number one, column number five. And this is what we can see here on the second page. I have an X, Y table with my measured values. And I set up my chart to uh, display the values in these two columns. So if I go to the empty template here, I click on the chart and you will see that it is already prepared to show these uh, two columns which are currently empty. But once Profex writes the raw data values to these two columns, it will automatically update the graph and display the diffraction pattern. You will also notice that instead of showing the phase quantities normalized to 1, it shows uh, the percentage, so multiplied by 100. And I used a little trick to do this. I'm actually exporting the results from Profex to these cells here on a page that is not printed, on the second page. And in these cells, the ones that will be printed, I'm using a formula to multiply these values by 100 and also limit the uh, significant figures to 2 so I don't get ridiculously accurate uh, results. So I set up my print area to only print the first page and I'm using the second page to export my raw data and here I'm formatting the raw data from here, so I can control the formatting of my results. Presets for refinement projects and for Excel export are quite convenient. Uh, we can, for example, save uh, the, the refinement project and the export configuration here in the same preset, as I mentioned before. So I go to project, save as refinement presets and I leave the refinement project and the export, the Excel export checked. I give it a new name. And now if I want to process a new uh, scan file, for example, this one, I can apply the new refinement preset, run it, And when it's done, I can immediately export the results to Excel because the configuration was already applied when I applied the refinement preset. In the export configuration, there was also an option to export the results to an Excel file with the same name as the project base name. If we check this, it will search for a file in the project directory with the same name as our project. So in this case, that would be 160715-03.xlsx. And in certain use cases, this is much more convenient than opening the same template for all uh, projects. And I want to show you an example when this might be the preferred option here. Suppose we want to process a list of similar data files, like these three files here. And we want to use a batch refinement with the same preset and export the results to one Excel uh, spreadsheet per file. 
And all these spreadsheets should contain some identical information, for example, the address, the name and the address of the customer. And we would like to fill it in only once in this, instead of three times. So in that case, we can create a copy of the template in the project folder and already fill in some of the information. For example, if all three files are for the same customer, we could fill in the name already here, maybe additional information like the wavelength or the, or the date, or maybe, maybe the name of the operator. We save this local copy in the project directory, and now we can just create copies for the other two refinement projects. So now I already prepared three files just by copy-paste, three templates with the same name as my raw data files. And I, I created a new preset with this uh, option to write the refinement results to templates with the same names here. And I can start a batch refinement to process all three files in a row. And when all three refinements uh, have terminated, I can export the results to Excel. I check all three projects. And here I get all my three test certificates with the customer name. And I, all I have to do is save all of them again with the exported results. And that's it. So this was the basic use of this new Excel export feature. In the next video I am going to demonstrate what these two columns are used for. Uh, they allow some fairly sophisticated filtering of the results and give us more control uh, over the formatting and display of results in the Excel sheets. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.